Presented by Caltech. Sensory substitution means uh, engineering effort to give blind people visual function and visual experiences. So try to recover visual function without uh, being invasive, like, like operation or anything else. Uh, so this is actually the device that we are using called Voice. Basically, it does have a very small spy camera here. And the uh, camera information is translated uh, in accordance with certain rules into sound. You're taking something from vision and you're putting it in audition and then the brain is doing the opposite. It's taking in all of those sounds and then it's making sense of them visually. For example, if they hear beeping at a certain rate, they associate that with uh, vertical bars that are a certain width. So there's an image uh, presented and then there's a sound that is the sound that's encoded from that image with the voice device or sensory substitution. And so you can hear the sound and look at the image and realize how intuitive they are to match together. What the blind person or sighted person, we had both, is doing is that they're moving these glasses around to find the dot. Once they hear it, they're centering it in the video and then they're reaching out for it. And they're trying to reach for the center of the dot but their spatial perception is not nearly as precise as our spatial perception. So it's usually off to the side a little bit. And what we measure is how far away from the center of the dot they are. And that gives us a sense of their spatial accuracy when using this device. 